Guys, guys, is that you? Guys, what is up? it has been 1,000 trillion years <laughs> since I've sat before a camera to talk to you guys. I miss you so much. If it's your first time, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Welcome to Life Journal with Miss DCH. I'm Miss DCH, obviously. Those are just my initials, but I go by Gabrielle or Gaby. But welcome to my channel, guys. I am so sorry for those of you who have been on the train for quite some time and were like, where the heck did she go? I tried to tell you guys in a few videos that the end of the semester got super, super hectic. I am so sorry. I really had to buckle down so I could get things done and finish the semester well, and I did, and it is officially winter break and I'm so excited because I get to record a whole bunch of content that's been sitting in my head waiting to be recorded and edited but I just couldn't do it because I didn't really have the time and also can I just say like I feel like we are building quite a dope family here because I don't understand how I got a hundred subscribers when I was not even posting you guys are so amazing or maybe you just have like mustard seed faith <laughs> because you clicked on and subscribed in hopes to see good content and waited now four weeks to see that content. Like, God bless you all. Your loyalty does not go unnoticed. But yeah, guys, we are pretty much at 900 subscribers. Like I did a few videos ago, I wanna shout out some people who are public, meaning I can see that you actually subscribe to me. I wanna shout out at least like the last five or six of those people, just to say thank you so much for y'all being just so absolutely loyal and dope and amazing. So, Stacy Frisco, Shandell Lewis, and again, y'all, if I'm tearing your name up, please forgive me. I really am trying. We have Grace Albright, Shakaya Carter, Mariah Sturkey, and Alyssa Ware. Thank you guys so, so, so much for following the channel, for subscribing, and joining the family. So first things first, I just finished up my first official semester as a PhD student. It's actually, I mean, I'm a third year student, like I'm moving toward candidacy. And people get confused a lot of times when I say like, yeah, I'm finishing my first semester of officially being PhD. I think I shared this with you guys before, but so the way our program is set up, everybody, whether you're on the PhD track or the EDS track, your first two years are literally identical. You take the same classes. And then after that is when the tracks split. So I didn't decide to switch to the PhD track until last spring. I'm sure you guys remember the whole ruckus around that. If you don't, I will link somewhere in one of these corners the uh, testimony around that. But yeah, so I switched to the PhD track so really this semester was my first official semester taking like PhD courses and just getting into the swing of like research and all that kind of stuff. And you guys, it's been amazing. Like I really counted myself out when I was even thinking about PhD being an option. I just, I thought it was too big for me and that there were just like, I could not measure up. I just really thought that it was not a journey for me. I avoided research throughout pretty much my entire time in college. And I know that sounds crazy to some people because like I've been at a research one institution I was there for four years IU and then I was at Loyola they were doing tons of research yeah I just I didn't think that was for me and yet this semester I've actually shocked myself with like I'm on four or five research projects now doing some presentations in the fall one of my uh, proposals got accepted for a research symposium for our department and it's just like what like who who is this person like it's really exciting to be on this path and to just kind of show myself that I can do things that I didn't think I could do so really the semester was great I actually am nervous because I feel like schoolwork wise it was a little bit more on the chill side like I wasn't too stressed out as far as schoolwork at that is until the end. Two of my classes catfished me and like literally I was smooth sailing and then at the end it was like red alert, get your life together because these exams might kill you. One was univariate statistics and the other one was history of psychology. And y'all, they almost got me but I think I did very well in both. And there are challenges, even personal challenges with being in college for this long and a lot of your friends and other people, family members are moving on with life and you're still in school. Uh, I actually might do a completely separate video about that side of it but um, overall I'm very pleased I'm very happy I'm very excited and I'm just super hopeful I really think it's going to be a great overall experience and I can't believe like you guys I'll be doing my candidacy exams this summer and then I'll be writing my dissertation next year and then after that like I'm an intern and then I'm out like what this is crazy this is 
crazy, this is crazy. So I'm super excited. I had a really good semester, so yeah. Oh, and just for those who don't know, I am a third year PhD student at the Ohio State University in the School of Psychology program, just in case any of you all aren't aware of what I'm saying. Okay, the next update is the fact that you guys, I gave wig life a try and it's like, I don't hate it. I really thought I was gonna hate wig life. Like I really thought getting wigs, first of all, let me be honest, I have not seen wigs done well. You know what I'm saying? Like no shade to anybody because I do know some people in my life who do them well, but I know they pay a lot of money for them to look well and look amazing. I thought I was gonna have to drop bands to get some wigs that would look like I wanted them to look. But surprisingly, I really enjoyed this. I really wanted something big and curly, a little on the longer side. This is a lot long. I mean, probably to like real weave people, this is like short for an 18, but this is long for me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a lot. But you guys, literally when I got it, I was just like, why, where have I been? Like, why are we not all just wearing wigs? Like, it's amazing to me that I can pop something on on top of my hair. Don't have to worry about my hair except to wash it and, you know, maintain it, make sure it's like, you know, still clean. But like, I don't have to style it. I can literally just wash a wig and throw it on. It just, it is mind boggling to me. And this is probably gonna be the first of many wigs. Like, I just, I really enjoy wigs. So, the next thing I wanna tell you guys about is the fact that, so I got convinced to download Bumble. <laughs> Um, which is, if you guys don't know, which you probably are all like, girl, we know, but just in case, Bumble is like a dating app. It's kind of like Tinder, but a little, it's a little step above, you know, a little more classy. People can still be trash on there, just like they can be trash anywhere, but to me, it's a very, it's a classier vibe. And you guys, it was so hilarious to me that people were actually matching. Like, not that I think I'm ugly out here, but it's just like, you hear about how these things work and then you do it and you're like, oh, wow, that like that's a thing. So, um, if you go look for me now on there, you won't find me, because I did delete the app like probably the same weekend that I got it. But hilarious story. So, literally the day after I got it, I matched with this guy and we ended up meeting up at we ended up meeting up at some like new piece of place downtown by campus so it was kind of weird like the whole setup for it the whole like it wasn't really like being asked on a date it was more like do you want to meet up and then he couldn't remember what the place was called and it was just a little strange but I get there and I mean the date was cool but it was just really I can tell you the nitty gritty, but I don't wanna do that just in case he ever watches this video. I didn't know this guy, but you know, I just, I'm trying to spare feelings. But like, you know, nice guy. But yeah, I was ready, I was, when it was time to go, I was ready to go. I'll just wear it like that. But y'all, I'll get to my car and I had a $30, it was either $30 or $60. It might've been $60. It was some crazy amount of dollars parking ticket because my dumb self parked at a 30 minute limit meter and I was like oh 30 minutes put me like right near the time that the meter was gonna go out where you wouldn't have to pay anymore and I was like in my head telling myself I was gonna go back out and fill the meter back up for the last like little 15 minutes that I needed it just like all big city parking people just they're, they're petty they go for the money and so literally in that 15 minute period when my meter was out I got a ticket and when he watched me to my car he was basically like all day and that's tough have a good night and I was like <laughs> okay so needless to say I was just like kind of over it I did talk to some people on there for a minute but I don't know bumbles on pause for now but I just thought I would share that with you guys it was hilarious that you know I, I really did give this like little online dating thing a try we'll see about it for the future but for now I'm good on that I'm just ugh, ugh, ugh. I'm good so any minute now, I'll be packing because I am going home for the holidays. I am so excited to go home and see my family, see my friends, and just spend time together and make memories and build new traditions and just do all kinds of fun stuff. But I am so sad. I don't know if you guys are this way, but like at this age, I wish I could just take my apartment with me when I go home. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love my parents so much. I love my family so much. But do I want to have all of my belongings in a corner somewhere, living out of a suitcase, sleeping on someone else's bed for three weeks to a month? No, no, I don't. I want my queen bed. I want my own space. <sighs>
But you know what? I'm not going to complain because I know a lot of people don't have family to go home to or even a home to go home to. So please do not think I'm complaining. I am happy. I just, you know, it's just, it's like an adult thing. I don't know. You just get to that age when it's just like, hmm, I love y'all, but. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be packing any minute now to go home. Uh, I think I'm going to leave in the morning because we're all going to a Christmas production tomorrow evening together as a family. So I'm excited about that. And the last thing I think I want to update you guys on is I'm really using these last like two-ish, two or three weeks of December to really just prep for 2019. Like I, I like to spend this off time from school to really just create. Sometimes my creating gets stifled when I'm in school because I have so many other things to be worried about and so many other places to be. So I'm trying to take this time to really plan out what my content's going to look like, like how can I upgrade what I'm doing, take it to the next level for 2019. And y'all, when I tell you, I have been so inspired these last few days by so many things so for so many reasons and so I just am gonna drop a nugget and say like look forward to what's coming in 2019 because I really am trying to do the dang thing like some people say it's impossible for me to be in school and to be doing you know this other thing that I really really love on the side but I really think it's possible and I'm gonna show y'all it's possible you all are showing me that it's possible with the way that you've been following me and supporting me over this last year I just really want to thank you all I'm just I'm so excited I'm just so excited I'm super excited speaking of 20 19, I will be turning 25 you guys 25 like when did that happen in my mind I don't feel I don't, I don't know I, I know I'm in my 20s but it just feels weird like I'm really about to be 20 whole five like 25 two five together is about to be my age what when did that happen? And I hate planning birthdays, so I know 25 is a big time. Moving into a whole nother like season of adulthood and like I know it's a big thing, but I hate planning birthdays. I just, I don't like it. I feel like my plans always go awry and then I'm like somewhere crying on my birthday because everything sucks. So I'm just not, I'm just not. Okay, I'm not gonna say I'm not. I might just celebrate in a non-conventional way. It's probably not gonna be no like trip, group thing, situation, but I really am trying to find some different ways to like, how can I commemorate, you know, turning 25? Maybe with some things that I can share with you all and my other audiences just about like what it means for me turning 25. So we'll see, we'll see. That's all to come in 2019, so. So yeah, guys, I think that is all that I have to tell you. I've just been a talking head, so if you lasted this long in the video, I appreciate you. I mean, you really wanted to know what was going on with me lately, and so I appreciate that. I love you guys. I'm super excited I hope you're excited if you're really excited and you're looking forward to what's coming make sure that you click the subscribe button sis or bro because if you don't click the subscribe button you probably won't get the update and make sure you also turn on the notification bell you'll be one of the first people to know what's going on if you're not already following me on social media I'm trying to figure out what you're doing because that's really where you get like a really a day-to-day -day, especially Instagram you're getting like a daily update about what's going on the links are always in my description box I love you guys once again i just want to keep saying that because you guys are dope for being so loyal while i was gone so i really love you guys hope you guys are looking forward to some fun holiday content coming in the next few weeks i'm so excited to share it with you and i will see you guys in the next video bye